Fishing with Klonk went in the last 30 years through a huge evolution. Thousands of anglers got obsessed with watching the sonar screen and waiting for a catfish to appear. This method is very effective and full of adrenaline, but can get very tricky as well, especially if you aim for a big and experienced fish. Hi everyone, my name is Ivo Zbořil, I'm a fishing guide here in south of France and in today's video I will show you a rig that helped me to double the number of fish I catch while using the clonk. I spent hundreds of hours in front of the screen and I have seen countless number of catfish that approached my bait but never attacked. I tried all kinds of presentation, but the result was questionable. When I was lucky enough, some of these fish did attack, but I lost them during the fight, until I found out a rig that solved my problem. For a better understanding uh, how this rig works, we have to speak briefly about two other rigs that are used for uh, clonk fishing. The most common rig used for clonk fishing is the fireball. Fireball has uh, some major disadvantages. The, the first one is the material it's made out of, which is lead. Somehow the catfish can sense the lead and it scares it. So it's not so effective. Uh, that's also the reason why all the manufacturers try to cover the surface of the fireball with different kinds of materials so the catfish cannot sense the lead. It can be ceramics, it can be rubber or a plastic. The, the problem is that sooner or later this material falls off as you hit the ground with the fireball while fishing with it. So you have to buy a new one. The other disadvantage of fireball is its shape and its weight. As you might know, the catfish uh, hunts its prey by aspirating all that is near its mouth. It, it sucks in all the volume of the water and all the objects that are in this volume of the water, which means the fish, the bait fish. But because of the shape of the fireball that is round the water can go can flow easily around the fireball and because of the weight of the fireball the gravitation pulls it down towards the ground of the river and both of these factors jeopardize a good aspiration of the bait fish inside the mouth of the catfish that is uh, also the reason why often when you fight the catfish, the catfish gets free because it wasn't hooked well. The other problem of the fireball is that when finally the fish is on and the fight starts, the catfish starts moving with the head from side to side and the weight of the fireball helps to move the hook and it leads to enlarging the hole where the hook enters to the mouth which helps to get the hook free and you can lose the fish i will try to demonstrate it on a piece of uh, on a piece of polystyrene so when the hook is set you strike in the beginning the hook is in its place and doesn't move but as the catfish starts fighting it moves from side to side and it's making all these moves and then the hook can easily get out you know this principle from uh, everyday life if any object gets stuck into another what do you do to get it free well you move it from side to side to enlarge the hole and then it's easier to get it out. So the, the other rig, the second one that is used for clonk fishing is a single ring with a single hook and a triple hook behind it 
with the, with the lead one meter above your leader. The main disadvantage of this rig is the fact that the fish can, the bait fish can uh, move uh, freely. So when the catfish gets from the ground, and you can see it on, on the sonar already, the, the bait fish can sense it as well and starts moving upwards because it cannot go down. It moves upwards to the level where you have your uh, lead. And when the catfish gets to this level and it can sense the lead again, well, in the majority of the times it goes down. That's very frustrating and I have seen this many, many times. <clears throat> so for all these reasons, I was thinking, what can I change to outsmart the catfish? And the solution is quite simple. To the simple rig I was speaking before, you add a carp lead clip with a small piece of rubber and inside you place a flat stone. Now let me explain how this works. It is a, actually a combination of uh, the two rigs I was speaking in the beginning. The, the weight of the stone helps the bait fish to stay in the depth you want and the shape of the stone helps the bait fish to enter the mouth when it's attacked by a catfish. Now why? It's all about hydrodynamic physics. Because the stone is flat and quite large, it creates a parachute effect. So when the catfish opens the mouth, the water that forces onto the surface of the stone helps the bait fish to enter inside. Uh, the weight of the stone is not that high that it, uh, it's pulled by the gravitation to the ground and it's not that light so it permits the f bait fish to move freely. It's, 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 an, it's a nice uh, uh, compromise. Another big advantage of this rig is the material it's made out of, which is stone. It's natural material, so there is no reason why the catfish should be scared of it. So when the catfish is on and the fight starts and the fish starts moving its head from side to side, this stone in the majority of the time falls off from the rubber. So there is no weight helping the hook to move from side to side and the chance to lose the fish is much lower. Another advantage of this rig is that these stones they are completely free. It's a budget friendly rig. You can collect them anywhere on the riverbank. And don't forget that if you lose your rig, for example, you, you hook uh, some debris on the ground and you break your line, you don't pollute the uh, river because it's natural, so it's an advantage as well. A few weeks ago, I went fishing with this rig, so I will show you uh, what I caught. But before we move there, I will mention one more thing, and that's when the catfish appears on the sonar and starts approaching your bait fish. The baitfish can sense the, the catfish and starts moving really aggressively around. And because of the weight of the stone, it cannot get really up. It can get up a few centimeters, but then it goes down. But while it's making all these vibrations, the catfish can uh, more easily target the baitfish and it actually increases your chances. But it would be fair to say that this rig is not almighty as well. It has some disadvantages. The first one is that you cannot use it in a strong currents because the parachute effect is, is against you. It's taking the rig far away from the sonar so you don't see your rig on the screen. And the other disadvantage is that you cannot use a big bait fish such as carp or uh, chub 
that are over like one or two kilos because these fish they are strong enough to move freely with this stone that is not that heavy as the fireball. Ideal bait fish for this rig is roach, perch, tench, small chubs, small carps, small crucian carps. I don't usually go over 20 centimeters and half a kilo. That's, that's the maximum. So I would say that's enough of theory. Let's go, uh, let's move back in time. I will show you uh, two nice fish I caught using this rig. Unfortunately, I had some issues with my camera, so I didn't film the strike, but at least I filmed the rest. So that's it guys, everything is ready. The weather is perfect, there's no wind, sun is getting up because it's, it's quite chilly this morning, so I'm happy about this. So let's see how this flat stone rig works. I will stay here till the afternoon. Tomorrow I will continue, so hopefully we will we will have some action on the rod. Even it's the end of the November. The water temperature is at 12 degrees. But we will give it a try anyway. So this is the first eco of the day. So the fish got a bit higher from the bottom, just to the level of my bait fish, but didn't take it. Two refusals, so they look not hungry at all. I will have to keep trying until I found a fish that is hungry enough to take the bait. But as you can see uh, here and here, every time the catfish got up, the bait fish didn't move, it was me uh, over here moving, but the stone worked well and didn't allow the fish to move from the catfish. Nice size fish, I didn't see much on the sonar. Yeah, but it's definitely fish over two meters, I believe. I'm exhausted. Come on, get up. No. This 
this fish is not going to give up easily. fish is a bit stronger than I thought so I will leave him to get tired by pulling the boat and I will try to lift him after because he's deep we are fishing on 10 meters Every time I try, the fish starts fighting even more. So I will just wait, I will be patient, I don't want to lose this fish. I hope you can see it. Yes, what a nice size fish. <clears throat> so there he is. I just wanted to show you. So this hook wasn't in the mouth. It was like behind. And the only hook with the with the stone that fell off is only in the lip so no harm to fish so I will make some quick photos and we will release him yesterday I caught only one catfish but a decent size uh, catfish 2 meters 20 which is fair enough for me I prefer to catch a few fish but at this size than to catch a lot of small ones today the conditions changed a bit temperature is about the same but we have no sunlight and no wind at all look behind me it's all flat so i came back to the same spot where i saw yesterday the fish where i caught the i caught the the catfish a bit a bit further but from from this point i i have seen some echoes so I will start directly here, I will not go under the dam behind me. And we will see the, the day, day number two. A 
so the bait fish is ready as you can see a single hook in the mouth and and a triple hook in the body with the flat stone so let's put him into the water up and the game can start again Not a small one either. This command pisses me off. It's the same case as yesterday. I have seen two another two other fish, but they didn't take it, and the third one did, like yesterday. It seems like number three is the good number. Yeah, I would really say it's, it's the same size as yesterday. Yeah, the fish, yesterday fish was actually a bit bigger. The hook is out, no stone.
Yep. That's it, so the camera is recording 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes we got the fish out, we took a picture and we can release it. Yeah, a decent sized fish. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, you find it useful for all of you that struggle to catch a catfish while using a clonk. I strongly recommend you to try this rig because it works really, really well. On the other hand, for those of you that already caught tens or hundreds of catfish while using a single rig or a fireball, no need to use this one. It's more likely for the beginners. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing. If you have some questions, leave me a comment and I will see you next time guys. Ciao!